Hello, I'm Dr. Rachel Catteru, a surgeon at the University of Alberta. I'm also a member of the Surgical Infection Society. Surgical site infections are the leading cause of unplanned readmissions following surgery. This is meant to be the first of a series of instructional videos that can be followed by a quiz at the SIS website to confirm your knowledge on sterile technique in the operating room. Please enjoy our video series. Stephanie is a medical student from the University of Alberta and she's going to demonstrate the steps on how to do a scrub. Now it's very simple. We've broken it down into eight steps on how to prepare to do a scrub and eight steps on how to do the actual scrub. So number one, start off with having clean scrubs for the day. If they get soiled throughout the day, change them. Tuck in the shirt into the pants and this prevents any microbes or cells from being shed. And never wear your scrubs outside of the hospital because we don't want environmental contaminants to come into our operating room. Have your ID available and accessible. That's all you really need. Do not bring food, backpacks, and leave that lab coat at the door. Have your surgical cap on and also all the hair tucked in. Eye protection is very important because this prevents infectious materials from splashing into your eyes. Even my glasses are not enough because things can go from the side as you can see. Have your mask on. When you go into an operating room, this is essential if any sterile field has been established. So that means if instruments are open, you need to have your mask on. If a patient's being operated on, have your mask on. Jewelry. No jewelry. These contain infectious microbes. They can fall and even contaminate a patient. They can also scratch a patient. Nails should be cleaned and polish free and no artificial nails because they also increase the contaminants and potentially can tear any gloves that you're wearing. And last but not least, shoe covers. This is important if your shoes have ever been worn outside of the hospital. Now reposition your glasses and uh, get yourself comfy because once you've scrubbed, it's gonna be very challenging to do it again.